Okay, hey, we, we are in Mansfield, Missouri, and uh, what's here? It is the Laura Ingalls Wilder Museum. Yes, we've already done one of these, but this is her other, this is the house where she wrote all of her books and where she and Alonzo Adam finally passed away. So her, um, both houses are here in this location. So okay. this, is, this is the museum. The house is actually up there. Um, I don't know if we'll film or not. Just, just, we're just to let you know that we're, we're stopping here. Okay, so no filming anyway. Hey guys, yeah, we are in Springfield, Missouri. This is the home of Bass Pro Shop. And this is the mother ship. This is the mother flagship of Bass Pro Shops. This is where it all started. They got an aquarium over here. But there's a couple of quick museums in there we want to show you. We're taking you guys up to, believe it or not, a motorsports, NASCAR, actually a motorsports museum. Everything that uh, the Morris family, uh, Bass Pro Shops, sponsored, to include Dale Earnhardt Sr. Look at this, look at this. This elk is four times norm normal size. They really done, they've outdone themselves. Look at this. Speak of the devil, there's a senior, one of the seniors' cars right there. Daryl Gwynn. Truck series. Mass Pro Shops. These are awesome. I had no idea they had these here. Here's some of the drivers. Earnhardt, Dillons, Tony Stewart, Jamie McMurray. Okay. Scared me. Love to drive one of these little things. I forget what they're called right now. Jamie McMurray at Daytona. These are these original cars too. These are that car. Late model. There's a couple Bush cars up there too, or nationwide cars, whatever they call them. Steve Kinzer. There's Tony Stewart. Tony, Tony, Jeff uh, Burton, and here's Steve Kinzer. Martin Truex Jr. Martin Truex, yep. Okay, this is Austin Dillon's, the actual car that went into the fence at Daytona. Look at this thing. Just tore it. I don't know if you guys remember it. You, you probably remember it when I show you the video here. Right on. Landed, I was flying, I was like, all right, you got it, you made it, you made it, you made it. Oh, God. And he got hit oh, by Keselowski when he... Oh, my God, that is not good. That is not good. Oh, my God, you saw that in the mirror. The one that came in at the end was probably the rough. It's like the worst feeling in the world, you know what I mean? I'm just like running and praying at the same time that I'm not supposed to get Get around to the... Uh... You okay, buddy? Going to the fence. Oh. Were you mentally preparing that it could be 2001 all over again? At the moment, we're in shooting that point. I haven't noticed that oil running out of the car. So that's the next thing, you know, I'm setting the worst fear for a driver is fire. He just grabbed my fire suit and just pulled himself up. He was Superman strength, you know what I mean? He was ripping my shirt off. Thumbs going up. Engine and transmission. The crew members and the crowd roars. He got out, Richard. Richard, he got out. He got out of the car. He got out of the car. How about the grandstand? Everybody's cheering. So. Yeah, I'm glad we got out of the car. 
got safe cars. Taking my helmet off, wave to the fans. And uh, I'll hold it. This is Elaine Foss to a fan. Yeah. How'd you have the wherewithal to think of that? I figured after that ride, you deserved it. It was more than eight seconds, but it was a wild ride. We're reminded once in a while it's a dangerous sport. For sure. We, we played off the driver because you don't want to think about it. This is a uh, bad crash here to end this one. Austin Dillon upside down into the outside catch fence. You're going to run over, so I my stop right there in turn one. I hit his freaking engine. Hold on. Oh, my God, yeah, man. Did you see that? Custom Bass and Pro Shop bike with a bass gas tank. Why wouldn't there be bass fender? Bass back fender too? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Then we just got some uh, uniforms here and uh, uh, some trophy bucks and turkeys and fishing with Dale Earnhardt Sr. and Tony Stewart. Um, yeah, I guess the dude, the dude is into racing, NASCAR especially. Here's uh, Dale Seniors when he, when he won the Daytona 500 for the first time. He'd been champion several, you know, a few times before he even won the Daytona 500. Well, we thought we'd show you that while we're here. Then just some quick history on the beginnings of Fast Pro Shop. Okay, this is a replica of the very first Bass Pro Shop store, 1971. He uh, actually, start, actually started out of his house in 61, but uh, old lures, old display case there. Some old rods. Oh, that's where it was, right there. For the first 13 years we were in business, this was Bass Pro Shop right here. So liquor, Seagram's for uh, three twenty nine. Got, got Jack back there for nine dollars and sixteen cents. Cigarettes. Some more lures and tackle boxes. Here's the here's the original Bass Pro Aquarium. Uh, oh, by the way, we we stay overnight in the Bass Pro parking lot. We'll show you that. Cool. They uh, they'll let you do one night. It's like Cracker Barrel, a lot of Walmarts. So nicer than a Walmart for some reason. Yeah. Hey, so that, that that wasn't too bad. Any any of that was it? No, it was actually kind of fun. So it was pretty nice, interesting. Um, now, unfortunately, we couldn't video anything in the for the Laurel Ingalls Wilder, and um, but just so that you know that this location in Mansfield was her last location. Um, what was really neat was that when she passed away, the house was closed up. So now that everything is in it is all original. It was all her fa it was all her furniture. You saw her writing desk with her mail still there. Um, so that's what was really neat about this place. If you're interested, just a real historical time period um, of original stuff for the house and the museum attached was very interesting too so um, it was a, it was a good visit even though I think Jay's like had, had more than enough of Laura Eagles Wilder yeah, though yeah I guess <laughs> it's history it's history but yeah that's what made like it neat it's just so it's very historical a lot of original stuff there but then what, what about that Bass Pro Shop oh my gosh I, did, I, I, I had no idea I had it was like crazy it was just I mean there was there was a live alligators in the center of the uh, the pro shop. The, I mean, the place was huge. I th and I think I mentioned that it's a, it was like it was like three normal Bass Pro Shops all put together. But they also had the, this big aquarium where they have shows, and it was like forty bucks a, 
a piece to get in. Like, eh, now we're gonna, we're gonna pass on that. But uh, and as far as the motorsports sports, I knew I knew he sponsored cars, I, but I didn't I didn't know that many cars. So yeah, that, that was that involved, very involved with it. Yeah. And to see the the original shop that was uh, kind of re replica. Re, yeah, the replica of it in there from his very first shop that was done in a liquor store. So that was great. Yeah. So that was gonna that was fun. I enjoyed doing that. So I mean, I hunting. No, I'm not into any of that. But it was interesting to go walking through that store to see all the fish displays, the little mini aquariums all throughout the whole little, um, you know, the whole store. It was huge, absolutely huge. So anyway, yeah, we're, we're wrapping up our, our stay here in uh, Springfield, and we are headed to a conservation area, not too far away. Might be able to find, we're gonna mainly to edit video and have zero camping fees. And uh, then there's there's a couple things over there we, we wanna take a look at. So uh, love you guys. Please hit that notification bell, but share this with like-minded people. We, we, we need to get some views going here. So anyway, God bless. We will see you in a few days next See week. See you on our next adventure. Okay, bye.